Hello everyone and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we'll be taking a look at the Colonnade Mall in Phoenix, Arizona. Or at least what's left of it. By the early 90s this mall had actually become a dead mall and the owners at the time decided it would be a good idea to demolish most of the mall and repurpose it as a power center full of big box stores. This weird little walkway that we're strolling down was at one point part of the interior of the mall. But believe it or not, there is actually a small portion of the interior mall left, which we'll see later on in the video. When this mall opened in 1964, it was originally named the Camelback Mall, but then a few years later was dubbed the Sears Roads Mall because those were the two main anchors this mall had. And then in the 70s, they settled on the name the Colonnade Mall. Now here's a really cool picture of the Sears that I found that used to be here. By the 90s, the Sears had become vacant, and as part of the mall's changeover to a power center, it was actually subdivided into a Best Buy, a Pet Smart, an Old Navy, and several other retail stores. So the building is still technically here, but unfortunately, it doesn't look anything like it did in this picture. We're now in the last remaining portion of the interior mall, and this floor and decor store was actually a Mervyn's originally that opened in 1979 and then closed in 2008 and Floor and Decor moved in in 2014. After this mall was converted to a power center in the 90s, it received one last name change and is now known as the Camelback Colonnade Shopping Center. It's very interesting to me that they left this one small portion of the original mall. I mean, it's nice that it's here, but it is very weird. Down here there's a basement level, and the only thing in here is a last chance store. And this was originally a Marshalls. You can see some signage for Bed Bath & Beyond there, which is another one of the stores located here. And there's actually an entrance into the Bed Bath & Beyond from within this small little mall area. Those stairs seem to have a very old school look to me, it's kind of just a small reminder that this used to be a larger mall. And what's interesting is there's actually stairs, a set of escalators, and elevators that all go down to that little tiny area. Seems like that last chance is very busy down there though. Look at this little vending machine, it's really narrow, it's kind of cute. And uh, that graphic on the front has a very 90s aesthetic feel to me. Here's another one of the stores you can access from the interior of the mall, the Off-Broadway Shoe Warehouse. As much as I hate to say this, demolishing the mall and converting this mostly into a power center may have been the way to go because the day that we were here, it was very busy. This little small portion of the mall that's left, not so much, but everything else was crazy busy. We had a really hard time finding a parking spot. I wish I could have seen this mall in the late 80s or early 90s before it was converted because from what I understand it was actually kind of pretty. There was a tropical courtyard here with a cascading waterfall, but now the only vestiges of that old mall design are these display windows along the walls. With the carpet tiles that are on the floor now and the sterile white walls and the red columns, this place kind of has more of a airport terminal feel than a mall now, which is unfortunate, but at least there's a little bit of it still here. Here's those escalators I was talking about, and these have to be the most narrow escalators I've ever been on. Do like that skylight though. Makes it nice and bright in here. I really wish I could have saw what this mall looked like in the past. I couldn't even find any pictures online. Here's another old school mall fixture, a payphone. I very rarely see these anymore. Unfortunately, this one was out of service though, but it's interesting that it's still here. And I guess this is what you could call the mall's food court. There's this one little coffee stand and there's also snacks and things that they sell as well. This stand is another little detail that makes this feel more like a small airport terminal though. There's not much remaining here, but I thought it was important to document what was still here. Like I said, there's just not a lot of info on this place online. Do you have any memories of shopping at the Colonnade Mall? I'd love to hear about them down in the comments below. As always everyone, thanks for watching. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retail archaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my video on the old Colonnade Mall, or Camelback Colonnade as it's now known. If you like this video, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and also if you've got a few minutes, why not check out one of these other videos? And also make sure to follow at the social media links down there because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel.